Hi everyone! So today I am going to be doing an updates video. So the first update is that Tash and Wabbit have been living in the shed on this table and in this cage for two weeks now and they are doing really 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 well. They have been going in to their run at least once a day and they have been going on to the shed floor at least three times a day so that's the first update. The second update is that Lily and Coco are hopefully moving into the shed by the end of this week. Basically I ordered a cage from zooplus.co.uk and it was £29.61 and, and it's called the Skyline Extra Extra Large Rabbit and Guinea Pig Cage and it's going to be placed here with Lily and Coco inside it um, every winter and eventually I'm going to buy a table suitable for the cage to put the cage onto so that it's not just based on the floor so that's the second update the third update is that the rabbits are really liking the new mats from Wilkinson's I like how they like them and they are so cheap so next week when I go shopping again I'm going to buy some more of these to cover more of the shed floor so that's the third update the fourth update is changes in the shed so the only area of the shed that has changed is this area by Tash and Wabbit's cage so down at the bottom we just have like normal the Christmas tree and the Christmas decorations and then we have a brick blocking a gap which is A small gap so Tash and Wabbit won't be able to fit through that gap but Lily and Coco may be able to so that's just there for when Lily, Coco, Tash or Wabbit are in here for a just in case purpose really and then I have a storage piece which you can hang on the wall but we don't use it so we just store it in here and then this is the table which has Tash and Wabbit's cage on it and then there's two bricks to hold the bottom part of their living area door in place. And then I have Tash Mabbit's veggie tray and their broken pasta rattle inside there. And then obviously I have their cage. And then on top of their cage has changed quite so a lot. So over here we just have a big box for my adult rabbits and a small box for my baby rabbits. And then inside there's just a carry bag with a bag of the Optimum Rabbit Food by Harrington's. And there's also a carrier bag, which is my bin. And then here I have some of the Russell Rabbit Complete Muesli, which is what my adult rabbits eat. And then the Rag Bunny Brunch and the Burgess Excel Taste Nuggets, which is what my baby rabbits eat. And this is the bowl that I use to make up their food every day. So I do half of Rag Bunny Brunch and half of Burgess Excel Taste Nuggets. And then this is my pink and white animal slash monkey hamper it was 149 from a cheap shop in Malacca town and I really really do like it um, they're about 130 um, in bin and bargains but um, I thought I'd just pay a bit extra for like the monkey design really so yeah inside here I've just got my back to nature small animal bedding and litter and it was 5.99 for 10 litres from pets home yesterday my baby rabbits use it um, for their litter trays and um, they don't really like it at the moment but it's only the first day so I'll give them a bit more of a chance and then see how they get on with it um, and then I just have some spare carrier bags like from Poundland, Wilkinson's and all that sort of thing and then I have a big black bag of straw which um, you've seen in previous videos and then I've got a green bucket which I use to put the muck from my rabbits from when I clean them out and then I put it in the green bin then I've got this pink um, no 
and then I've got this purple <laughs> um, hamper from B&M Bargains. It was about £1.29, but I like to pay a bit extra, as I said before, um, for this one because it's got the monkey design in it. And then I've got my hay inside there. And then I've got another black bag full of the Wilkinson's Harvest Straw. I haven't actually used any of it yet, but I'm going to um, when I clean cash on my about next because it's got green pieces in it i can't use it for leaving cocoa because can't no because they can't eat greens yet so yeah that's all of the changes in the shed and that's all of my updates so i hope you enjoyed and i'll speak to you next time bye